Well, <laughs> well, we are at the tail end of Severe Weather Week, which you've been talking about all week long, and it's never too early, never too late. Always a good yeah. idea yeah. to be prepared for that emergency. Meteorologist Brittany Merlot tells us what you need to know to stay safe. It's Severe Weather Preparedness Week, and it's the time to put a plan in motion. So what's your plan? If you're inside your home, you go to your basement. If you don't have one, you go to the lowest level interior room, like your hallway, the stairs, the closet. You wanna put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You're gonna to wanna to grab pillows, mattresses, and all of that. But what if you're at work? Where do you go then? Well, you've gotta get creative. You wanna to go to the middle of the building, the outside walls as far away from you as possible. So I found this locker room here. To be honest, I'd get inside this because this is going to protect you from any of that flying debris. But what if you're driving? What do you do then? Don't think for one second that an overpass is a safe place to go because it's not. Instead, I'd keep driving and find a ditch, get out of the car immediately, and lay inside of it. Practice your plan, make sure you have it in your muscle memory so that if an emergency actually happens, you know exactly what to do and you're safe. In Green Bay, meteorologist Brittany Merlo, NBC 26. Always good to play out those scenarios in your head just in case you never know when you're going to need them. Brittany, thank you for those tips.